website's performance is affected by a long list of direct and indirect factors. Thankfully, you can use reliable online tools to improve your website's performance for your own users. In this video, we'll be looking at some advanced ways to improve your website's performance. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Tools like Google's PageSpeed Insights and GT Metrics are extremely reliable and useful in improving your website's performance. They analyze all the factors that contribute to a website's performance and assign a score or grade. Both of these tools base their results on three main aspects. Largest Contentful Paint measures loading performance by reporting the render time of the largest image or text block visible within a viewport. This should ideally occur within the first 2.5 seconds. First Input Delay measures the interactivity by measuring the time between the user's first interaction and the browser's first event handler processing. This metric should be ideally less than 100 milliseconds. Cumulative Layout Shift measures the visual stability by accounting for unexpected layout shifts that occur during the lifespan of the page. Your page should strive for a CLS score of less than 0.1. These three aspects are further directly and indirectly affected by several factors. So below, the tool will suggest the factors that you can focus on to improve your website's performance. Of course, these suggestions change from website to website. However, there are a few frequently appearing factors that have a high impact on a website's performance. Let's take a look at them. Preload is a system that gives web browsers hints about the resources or files that will soon become necessary to load the web page. By preloading key requests, these files and resources are simultaneously downloaded while the browser is doing something else. This is done by adding the preload attribute to the link elements in the page header. Plugins like pre-party resource hints make it easy to preload key requests. In the analysis results, expand the suggestion and copy the link to the resource. Then head to the Plugin Settings page. In the Insert Hints section, paste the URL in this field. Then click Insert Resource Hint. You'll see suggestions like Remove Unused JavaScript, Remove Unused CSS, Minify JavaScript, and Minify CSS in the PageSpeed results. You can tackle all of them using the Asset Cleanup plugin. After installing it, head to the CSS JS Manager tab. Here, you can choose to remove CSS and JavaScript files from a specific page or the whole website. And you can optimize scripts from individual themes, plugins, and third-party sources. When you're done, head to the Settings tab. And switch to the Optimize CSS section. Here, enable the Minification setting at the top. Similarly, go to the Optimize JavaScript section and enable minification. Below, you can also enable inline and defer options, which can help eliminate render blocking resources, which is another common page speed suggestion. Long page loading times can be a turnoff for many users. It's important to optimize the server to finish tasks as quickly as possible. Google recommends using optimized themes like Astra and Generate Press, using optimization plugins like W3 Total Cache, and upgrading your server if you're still facing this issue. Images contribute to over half the page weight of an average WordPress page. And with hundreds of images on your WordPress website, speed can really take a hit. You need to take measures like image compression, resizing, image CDN, and the right image format. Check out our in-depth video in the description to learn more about image optimization. Browser caching can help reduce server load by reducing the number of requests per page. So cacheable resources like images, CSS, JavaScript, and others don't have to be downloaded every single time. 
you can use a browser caching plugin like W3 Total Cache to leverage browser caching on your WordPress website. After installing the plugin, head to its settings page. Here, make sure that browser cache is enabled. Next, head to the browser cache settings from the sidebar. And make sure the expires header, cache control header, and set e tag options are enabled. Save the settings if you've made any changes. Check out our video on WordPress browser caching in the description to learn more about the topic. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.